Testies, testies. One, two, three. Smile, you fucks. What's up? This is Ami, old man and ignorant. Um, I have something else I want to talk about, but as always, I never have notes, so when I try to get my point across, it probably is. That's why I used to call it the scattered thoughts of Mr. Know It All, because I don't have my shit all mapped out and I've said it many times in my video. But I have this topic I want to talk about. It's something I try to find certain topics that aren't mentioned often. Um, this has to do with like how it's especially in America, but there's obviously other countries where they try to make you feel like shit especially if you're a male and you live at home still like with mom or dad or both whatever they the they the elite whatever else you want to call them they have all of these tactics implanted strongly because it never used to be this way i'm talking about a long ass time ago any way to break up the family, any way to divide us, and I mean any way in every way. All, all, uh, how do I say this? All tribes, like people that live natural as possible, not domesticated humans like myself in a city that's all unnatural. All tribes, they are a tight-knit family and stay together. They don't go around like, oh, well, you're an adult now, you gotta leave the tribe. You, They make you go on like a warrior mission or something. You might have your own little hut, but they still live close together. If they didn't, they would fucking die, man. It, it bugs me how that's one thing the government and the elite like the ones running the world do. They have done it so well that they have convinced us peasants, us slaves, I say it like that because that's how they view us. They've convinced us, not myself, but a lot of people, oh, we'll make fun of that person and treat them like shit because they still live with their mom or dad or because they still live at home and shit like that. You, for one, it's like, God damn, people. Sorry for saying that. But like, for fuck's sake, do you know how hard it is to live on your own? I've said this in another video. Oh, so if I don't live at home with mom or dad, but I live with some other person, let's say I live with some lady. What's the fucking difference? We, ha we have to help each other out in this world. If the people living together get along for the most part, and help each other in some way, who gives a flying fuck? How would that, why do you, you know, like, I know a lot of people nowadays don't believe in God or Jesus, but like, that's what Jesus taught, don't judge people. Why would you give a fuck? I don't give a fuck if you live at home with your mom or dad or both. It doesn't fucking change anything for me. Everything's about money, and I'm on my own and have all these materialistic stuff. That's what, American women view guys as like successful like I don't think about that shit like in the sense that that is a make or break thing like we live in a world where love doesn't mean shit love is the last on the list who gives a fuck what if you truly love them it's all about what do they have like obviously we like hot attractive people but even that is not on the top of the list you probably hear the water behind me running i'm pale so i'm down here trying to tan um yeah think about that watch videos on it i mean that's not even going to give you the hundred percent truth but watch those videos on YouTube or whatever of tribes. 
Watch the ones on YouTube more because those are more natural and not like manipulated as much as something on fucking Discovery Channel run by the mass media <gasps> corporations shit. Those people live together and help each other and they're super happy. They don't stress about money and bullshit. Yeah, I know we live in the cities and in a non-natural world and have to worry about that. But, but that that's why relationships and even families fall apart. Because they all stress about money. Money, money, money. Ah. Even though I don't like money, we still need... Because most people have been brainwashed by having money. Having paper money will beat plastic, electronic shit any day. And it's going towards that way and bad shit's gonna happen, man. They're gonna have track of every cent you make. And they can just take it away from you. They say, oh, sorry, sorry, our system's fucked up. And, and you probably think, oh, come on, Dave. Be for real. You're over-exaggerating. It happens now. How many of you with credit cards have to call these companies and get shit figured out because somebody purchased something on your account or money didn't go into your account or this or that? It's fucking bullshit. Why do you want that? That's annoying. Let alone we have to pay these fees. You have to pay a fee to put money on a card. You have to put, take a fee out to take money out. Why? Why, motherfucker, why? That's stupid. It just blows my mind because I know a lot of people that talk to me or view me or listen to me on these videos. I know they think I'm fucking batshit crazy or fucking stupid as hell. And that's the scary thing because at least in my opinion, my mind, I'm making very good valid points. And that shit can change if we all work together. When more of society thinks the wrong way, the negative way, the um, I'd rather be a slave and not argue way, I'd rather just keep my mouth shut because I don't want to argue way, that's when bad shit happens and it's happening now. Um, this world or this society like, um, you know, like America, for instance, probably even China, stuff like that. They they want the family to fall apart. It's just like this. This has nothing. I don't hate anybody that's trans, gay, bi. Even though some of you will say that, regardless of me telling you right now, I don't hate anyone. I don't have homophobia or transphobia, but in your mind, I do. I don't have hatred towards anyone, especially for no reason. But the way they're pushing it is part of the agenda to break up the family as well. Yeah, two people can have a family even though they can't make babies together, but that's part of it. They want more people like that to not have babies because that destroys the family as well. Um, another thing that destroys the family is when you have two people that love each other, that work all the time and never get to be with each other, and when they are with each other, they're stressed out and tired. That destroys the family right there too. That's why... I, as much as, you know, it, it's hard to admit, some of that olden days shit is better. The wife stays at home and the husband works. I won't lie, though. It does help when both work. Because I don't want to bust my ass away. Fuck with me. The way relationships go, everyone fucking breaks up. I don't want to bust my ass for somebody who's just cheating on me. But still, it works better if the wife stays home and the husband works. Type of deal. Or... I know a lot won't agree with that, but it helps with the family staying together is the point. Everything I'm talking about has to do with the family. Um, just like they want you to go to college and it's usually far away. 
it's every little detail to keep the family apart. And like, especially in America, friends and family usually only come together when there's a fucking funeral or something bad. It's not meant to be that way, people. We're meant to, to be together often and happy. But we live in a non-natural world that makes us all miserable. The food, everything. It makes us fucking just want to be left alone. Which makes us depressed because we're social creatures and want to be together. It's like a constant battle. Catch-22. But the main topic in my head that I wanted to point out was... Like, ladies. Just because a male lives with a parent doesn't mean that they're a low life, a loser, you know, like there are people that live with parents that still work and still help out around the house and shit like that. It's all about helping each other. Why be miserable and stress about the dumb stuff of who you live with when you can just be like, who gives a fuck? It's those little things like judging somebody based on dumb shit like that when we can all just be happy who gives a fuck that's why I like when there's people that talk about God and Jesus and then they say something like it's a fact when they don't know for a fact yes it might be in the Bible but still you don't know for a hundred percent fact and you judge people based on the same well if you do this this yes you're going to hell You have to, for a fact, do this, otherwise you're going to hell. Where in the Bible does Jesus or God say that? Does he say, for a fact, if you don't do this, you're going to hell? That defeats the purpose of his message, people. That's the whole thing. And he says to have discernment. He's basically telling you, yes, Read the Bible. Yes, there's helpful information in there, but have discernment because even the Bible has shit that is not true or could be taken wrong. Because we we all read something and hundreds of us, thousands, millions of us take it differently. There's simple messages that can clear up all the mess. Don't judge. Yeah, we, we... we people are all of us are quick to judge it's forming an opinion based on looks or how a person sounds or this or that we're all guilty of it but in the end think about how you would feel if somebody viewed you that way just that's the whole point of treat your neighbor like you want to be treated meaning with love and respect don't come at people in a negative way from the start I know, I I get all over with my topics. The scattered thoughts of Ami, old man ignorant. Well, I think I got my point across. I'm trying to make more videos for you guys. And some shorts. The shorts help with views and spreading my channel. Well, I love you mofos. Um, Yeah, have a good day. It is May 10th, I think. Ninth or tenth? Smile, you fucks.